Hello, I'm Gary Cleveland with Cleveland Helicopter Services here in Plymouth, Indiana. And in this video, we will discuss the helicopter height velocity diagram. Here is a copy of an actual helicopter height velocity diagram to show you what you will be looking for in the helicopter POH. Every helicopter POH or pilot operating handbook will include a height velocity diagram. As you can see, there's areas that are shaded, and that's what we are going to be talking about here. I've made a not to scale picture of this particular height velocity diagram, so it's easier to see, and we can mark it up and uh, show you how to work through uh, using it to stay safe. Along the left side, of the high velocity diagram you have altitudes ranging from zero to wherever the manufacturer um, may include this one goes up to 600 feet AGL which is above ground level on the bottom we have speeds ranging from zero all the way up to wherever the manufacturer decides to cut it off and we see we also have a shaded area in this area so let's talk about these. Let's say we want to be at zero airspeed, in other words, a hover. We want to see what altitude is safe at a hover with zero airspeed. By safe, I mean we don't want to be in this shaded area. So as you go up 50 feet, we're in the shaded area, 100 feet, 150 feet, 400 feet, we start to get above this line. So that tells us that if we want to hover out of ground effect, in other words, zero airspeed, we need to be at 400 feet AGL, according to this particular high velocity diagram, in order to accomplish a good auto rotation should the engine fail. Legally, we could operate at 150. 100, 50 feet. But what this graph is telling us is that test pilots have determined that the average pilot would not be able to make a successful auto rotation should the engine quit while operating in this shaded area. Let's say we're doing just above ETL. Let's say we're doing 20 knots. Let's go up. We got shaded area, shaded area, shaded area, shaded area. Here we're intersecting this line. We're going to go over. And let's interpolate this as to be in 250 AGL. So we know that if we're doing 20 knots, and we know ETL is 16 to 24, so let's say we're just above ETL, we're doing 20 knots. The height velocity diagram tells us that we still need to be approximately 250 feet in order to conduct a safe auto rotation. Now over here, we have another, another shaded area at the bottom. This is telling us that when we hit 40 knots, we need to be coming up higher off the ground. When we hit 50 knots, we need to be 10 feet off the ground, and so forth. And so we wouldn't want to be doing 100 knots, for example, 5 feet off the runway. We'd be in this shaded area. This shaded area tells us that we probably would not be able to do an auto rotation at this height, at this speed, because we'd probably hit the tail boom during the flare. We wouldn't have enough altitude to conduct um, a flare. So using the high velocity diagram to come up with a takeoff profile, it's going to look something like this. And most high velocity diagrams will include a takeoff profile drawn in. So this tells us that as we take off from zero airspeed, we should stay close to the runway. 
until we hit about 40. We start a gentle climb. We hit 50. We hit the best climb speed, whatever it may be for the aircraft you're operating. Many helicopters, it's uh, anywhere from 45 to 55 to 60. And you're going to climb on out. Always being able to conduct a good auto rotation should the engine quit. Again, it's not illegal to operate in this shaded area. You are to avoid operating in the shaded area if you're carrying passengers for hire. That's more of a commercial question and it's discussed in part 136. Now this additional shaded area that's up here that raises um, an out of ground effect hover from 400 feet to 600 feet and then slants down with increased air speeds. This area in this particular chart is for operations at or above 8,500 density altitude. Added gross weight of 2,250. So I hope that this helps you to know how to use the height velocity diagram to stay safe. And I urge you to go to your helicopter POH and look at the height, height velocity diagram for your helicopter. Find out where you can hover zero airspeed out of ground effect and be safe and know that number. And try to figure out exactly what the profile is for your takeoff to be safe in the helicopter you're operating. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.